audio jungle. The next trick we're going to learn um, is a divisibility trick for 11. So that's all we're going to cover this video. Um, and that is 11s. And the reason why I'm going to take so much time with 11s is because I want to warn you, it's a tricky little trick, okay? So let's take a look at the 11 times tables, uh, which appear to be real nice at first. So 11 times tables, to find them, if you don't have them memorized, again, you can always do repeated addition instead of multiplication. And that's what I'm going to do. So 11 plus 11, well, 1 plus 1 is of course 2, and so I end up with 22. Adding 11 again, I get 33, and it's going to behave very nicely in this type of simple way. Uh, for a while, 44 is 33 plus 11, tack on another 11, and I get 55. I'm going to use up some board space here because I really want to show you this. Adding another 11, yes, I do get 66, 77, 88, and 99. Okay, and up till now, we're thinking this is real nice. Just look at these double digits. 11, 22, there's 3, 3, and 4, 4, and 5, 5. And so everyone's instinct is now to tell me that the next number on the 11 times tables is going to be 1, 1, 1. And that's just not the case. So let's take a look at what happens. If you take 99 and you add 11, 9 plus 1 is 10. Carry that 1, and I end up with the number 110. And my pattern is kind of broken. Adding on another 11, we'll see this pattern continue to break down. 121, and another one gives us 132. And so I don't have a whole lot of pattern after this. And so what I'd like to warn you of is yes, there's a nifty little pattern for 11s, but it only works on two digit numbers. And so let's go ahead and write up our rule. Our rule is that all repeated double digits. Notice I said double, two digit numbers. All repeated double digits divide by 11. But my caution to you, and I feel so strongly about it, I'm gonna write it in red. I really need you to be careful. It only works for two digit numbers. So you might be thinking, well, what the heck am I going to do if it's not a two-digit number, Kate? And I'm going to say, you've got to go the old-fashioned way. If we don't have a trick, you divide. So this only works for two-digit numbers. So let me show you what I mean. Let's do some problems. Let's look at how it's going to look for you on your GED test if you get one of these type of problems. Is 88 divisible by 11 is the first question I've been asked here. And first of all, 88 is a two-digit number, so I can use my trick. Is that a repeated double digit? Is it the same number twice? Indeed it is, and so my answer is yes. But I need you to be really cautious. The next question asks, is 654 a multiple of 11? Everybody wants to look right at it and tell me no, but the fact of the matter is, my trick is not going to work here. This is a three-digit number. So you're going to have to divide. I'm really sorry, and sorry to my cameraman too, woman. Can you come over here? Let's divide and check it out. So long division is our friend, and it's really easy when we divide by 11s. So, how many times does 11 go, it doesn't go into 6 at all, does it? But how many times does it go into 65? That's 5 times. And 5 times 11 is just 55, repeated 5s. Subtract that out, I get 104. And 11 goes into 104 9 times, and take a look at that. I've got a remainder. 
So we know back from our first divisibility video that if you've got a remainder, the answer is no. And so 654 isn't a multiple of 11. Okay, now luckily our next problem involves a two-digit number. So it says 11, is 11 a factor of 47? Nice, simple problem here because it is two digits. I look right at it and I say, these are not repeated double digits. And so the answer is no. It would have to be like 44 or 77 to say there was an 11 in there. Okay. But take a look. The next one's there just to trick you. Is 374 divisible by 11? You're not allowed to use that trick. Sorry, guys. It's back to long division. I've spent a lot of my life trying to convince students that long division was invented to make your life easier, but nobody seems to believe me. So here we go. I'll help you. Uh, how many times does 11 go into 3? Why it doesn't. But it sure does go into 37 three times. And 3 times 11 is 33. My remainder is 4. Drop another 4. And 11 goes into 44 perfectly, doesn't it? Four times with no remainder on the final division. Very nice. So no remainder. And so guess what? The answer is yes. And if it's divisible, it divides with no remainder. So that's it for 11s. You knew I'd do it to you again, guys. Here's a homework assignment. Love for you to practice your 11s. So to do that, go to Quizlet. And again, you're going to do 1.4G, Divisibility Tricks for 11. And I know we haven't had homework out of the book for a while. Don't worry. We're getting there. It's just there's a lot going on in section 1.4 of the book. So we're going to cover it all first before we attack that book work. So good luck on your flashcards, and we'll see you for the next Divisibility Tricks video.